Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my review of Breaking Bad for Season 4, Episode 2. Um, and this was a damn good episode. Um, from the beginning all the way to the end, just... It was just awesome. I just really enjoyed it. Um, as I talk about it, you will, I will give my thoughts at the end. But this was just awesome. I really enjoyed this uh, episode for the storyline purposes. Um, it was just amazing. So, um, let's start it off. So this episode, like I said, is season four, episode two. Um, it's called 38 Snub. Um, and it came out on July 24th, 2011. Um, the episode starts off with Walter buying a gun. Now, I can't really go in depth about why, but we obviously know why he's buying the gun in case, for, you know, in case Gus kills him. Um, the only reason, I can't really go in depth though about what they talk about. They talk about the type of guns that they should get and all of that. Um, but I'm just not really that knowledgeable about guns really. So I can't really tell you um, what they talked about just because of that reason. Um, but um, we do find out that this is going to be an illegal gun. Um, he's not legally buying the gun because... Um, well, the reason he's not legally buying it is because, uh, the reason we know that, too, is because there's no serial number on the gun, so that's how you know that. Um, and, um, I think the reason Walter doesn't want to probably buy it legally is they're going to get suspicious about why he's getting this gun. Uh, the guy is a little bit suspicious about it. He does ask him if he's using it to defend himself or if he's using it to protect, like, for protection. Um, and Walter does say he is using it to defend himself, um... And then Walter says, um, the guy tells Walter because uh, he has he's hiding it in his pocket like this. If you, um, like in his well, he's gonna in his pants. If you've seen, like people do that, you can understand. And he's not as fast as taking out the gun, um, and uh, pointing it at the person. And um, he the guy says he has to practice of getting faster at that because um, if he doesn't, then he's gonna pretty much be dead meat. So, um, and the guy does recommend that he buys it legally, but Walter, you know, because if there's lawyers and stuff, and if you get caught killing them and then find out that you bought a illegal gun, you could get arrested. It could be like a big, a, fe a felony, but Walter says, that, but Walter buys it, and then it cuts to the theme song. Overall, I thought this was a solid scene. I, re I didn't really know, um, what they were talking about, but it sets up a lot of stuff that's going to happen between Walter and Gus, so I was happy with this. Um, it makes Walter look like a badass too, cause this guy I bet never broke the law. Even him from season one, he always did the right things, and now he does is doing a bunch of illegal stuff. So, um, it also help um develops Walter White's character. Um, and what else do we have? We also so then um, it shows Jesse at his house and. He ha he's blaming his music. He has a new sound system now. He has like this thing that goes around that's like a disc. I, don't, I have no clue what it's called. Um, I, I think it's something that goes to the speaker. Um, but he completely decked out his house now. I'm actually liking it. And I think he's sort of losing it from, all, from the whole having to kill Gale and the whole Gus situation. Um, because he seemed pretty depressed here. And um, Badger and Skinny Pete show up. And they check out the new speaker, um, and they talk about it, um, about like what type it is and all of that. And then they say that Andrea has been asking about you um, from the meeting, and uh, then um, they do some cocaine. Um, and I actually was kind of laughing at this because they were talking about Call of Duty. Um, and I believe this was around when the zombie mode starting to be brought into the games. I I play Call of Duty sometimes, but not I'm not like a big Call of Duty player. Um, but I know what they're talking about. And they talk about the Nazi zombies are only killing like the American zombies. They're not killing them for a purpose. And Badger and Skinny Pete are arguing about that because they're so high up off cocaine. I actually thought it was really hilarious. I actually laughed at this. Um, and Jesse, I, I think, was kind of depressed because he's still losing it. Um, 
And um, the Walter Jesse's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, so then um, Jesse says, you know what this house needs? And then they throw like a massive house party. Um, I thought it was pretty good stuff. I actually enjoyed this scene. It was really awesome stuff. The music they were playing too was pretty good. Jesse has doesn't Jesse doesn't have bad taste in music. So then Walter White's practice. It shows Walter White practicing how to take how to um, take out the gun back at his house. Um, what happens next? Uh, Hank is up at like two in the morning, looking at his mineral. Um, I think he's actually mad at Marie because um, she's upset that uh, she's asking him about this mineral and he's telling her all these facts about it and he knows he doesn't care. Um, she's like, if you're not going to be interested, why are you asking me all these questions? And Marie's like, I do care. I just um, want to... Um, it's just two in the morning and uh, I think Hank said something like, there's a bunch of bedrooms, you could go sleep there. So Hank's just kind of acting like a huge dick to Marie. Um... And it gets worse in later on in this episode, and we'll talk about it. Um, so then, um, Walter gets a call from Skylar at his house, and um, she talks about how um, she ha she hasn't received a check from Walter, and she needs a check soon because Hank's medical bills are piling up. And she talked about the car wash, and she he didn't answer his phone, and he left a voice. She so she left a voicemail, and Walter's upset because he's afraid that people are gonna get suspe suspicious if you talk about buying a car wash on an answering machine. He said that they shouldn't even be talking about it over the phone. And Skylar's like, "Well, if you're so sketchy about it, why would you want to buy one in the first place?" But then, Walt, but then the conversation kind of ends, and um, Walt. I think Skylar even mentioned too that she's gonna be a that she's been watching. Um, how the car wash is operated and all that. Um, and um, Walter, as he was doing this, was loading the gun up so that way he can, um, you know, get ready for the, uh, so that way he can get ready to have a face off with Gus. Um, then um, Jesse goes to work and he, t and he the party is still going to continue. Um, so yeah, he says, he, t he tells, um, Badger and Skinny Pete to let the party continue. One funny part in this scene was uh, Badger hit Skinny Pete right in the ass and he punched him. He's like, wow, you really get defensive when people hit you in the ass. He doesn't say that, but he, he implies it pretty much. And I actually thought that was a funny part of this of this scene. Um, and then Walter and Jesse are at work. Um, and um, some... And someone comes in thinking that it's Gus, and Walter, gra uh, Walter, Walter grabs his gun um, and gets prepared to uh, f shoot him. And then um, we find out it's a guy. It is a guy that looks like Gus, but it's not Gus. Um, so it's the, a new guy uh, that's going to be play replacing Victor's role. And then Mikey comes in. Um, I think Mikey, Mike, I don't know what else, what they want to call him, but, uh, he comes in and he talks about how, um, you need to weigh, weigh you need to weigh the meth, because they usually weigh the meth on the scale, and now that's a new policy where they have to weigh it, um, twice, and Walter asks if he can speak to Gus, because he wants to, um, he makes up some beat, bullshit excuse, um, about how he wants to clear the air about all the unsettling that's going on between them, but, um, Mike tells Walter that he's never going to see Gus again. So then, um, the next, um, Skyler is in the car watching how the, um, car wash is being operated. Um, I didn't really, th I thought it was a good scene. I didn't mind it. I just figured I'd bring it up. So then, um, Hank is with this, like, personal trainer. This is the guy that's going to help him walk again. And he's able to now make it to his bed. Um, I think he took, um, I thought that was pretty awesome stuff. He took, he was able to, uh, walk f from the living room to his bed and Marie was cheering him on. And, uh, Hank was pumped up and, uh, Marie gives him a high five. They do, and then, uh, when Marie goes to give, uh, Hank a high five, Hank does give a high five, but it was kind of like a nonchalant high five, like kind of like one of these, like, um, 
like a wheel, like he didn't really give a wheel high five at that swing sense. He would like this, um, so that proves that there's still some tension um, going on between them. And Marie talks about how you're doing great with them, and uh, the personal trainer says, "I'm just call. I don't really know what it, he's actually called, but I'm just gonna call him that." Uh, the personal trainer says that Hank has all this positive energy. So then Marie's all happy. She talks about how she's thinking about cooking dinner tonight. And she tells Hank about this. And Hank just says, Marie, get out. And Marie gets all depressed. I actually thought this was awesome stuff. Um, I really enjoyed it. They're building up some tension between um, him and Marie. I think the reason he's upset with Marie is because uh, he didn't even want to come home. He didn't want to leave the hospital until... Um, he was uh, able to walk out of there, and I think he's upset he wasn't able to walk out of there out of his own power. And I also think they talk about how Hank's motivated. What's motivating Hank is he wants to get back to work, even though he's suspended. Um, but he wants. To, I have a feeling after he gets he's done, um, fully healed, he'll be back to work. But I have a feeling the reason why um, Hank um, wants to get back to work, wants to get back walking again is so he can uh, get back to work and finally solve this. Eisenberg case, which is Walter White's case. So uh, that's the thing. I that's my theory right there. Um, but yeah, he's really not happy with Marie right now. Um, they don't really touch on in this any. Well, actually, they do. Actually, actually, I forgot. But then um, Jesse's having the house party still, and apparently they bought pizza at this pizza place. That apparently you have to cut the pizza yourself. I thought that was kind of stupid. Um, but, a, but funny. And then he gets a knock, and somebody knocks on the door, and it's Andrea. And, uh, they haven't really talked in a while. Andrea's been calling him, but Jesse makes up some excuses that he's been busy with work and all that. But Andrea says he doesn't care about that. And he talks about how, uh, somebody, um, the day after, um, Tomaz's death, um, he talks about the situation when Walter killed the murderers. And then uh, he found out. She found. We find out that Jesse sent her some money, and she wants to know if that it's if it's like illegal money. And he says no. Um, and Jesse wants her to buy a house for him and Brock, who was in the back of the car, to get out of that neighborhood with all those people. Um, and uh, then she leaves. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. I think Jesse wants to get her out of the neighborhood, which I'm happy about. I'm um, not going to complain about that so then um walter goes to uh gus's house and he's gonna i think kill him right there he's probably gonna like knock on the door and point out the gun or something and just kill him like uh uh jesse did with gail and uh but, but as he's approaching the house walter was being pretty badass and then he gets a phone call from gus to tell him to go home and i thought that was awesome um i actually mocked out when i saw that it was just awesome so then, um, the next day, day Skylar wants to buy, uh, the car wash. She goes to see the owner about it. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. I don't know if they've ever said his name. Uh, I, it was uh, cool to see him again. I never thought we would see him again. I thought, like, they were just going to talk about it once and then be done with it. But no, they continue with it. Um, and, um, he wants $10,000 for it. Um, but, uh. Skylar says, I'll give you $879,000 because she talks about how much cars they're cleaning, how much air fresheners are they giving and all of that, all the statistics about it. And uh, this guy knows that Walter's the and he even talks about how he doesn't want to just sell this thing too because he's been, he built this business from the ground up uh, from pretty much nothing. And... Um, he says that he hasn't forgotten about what Walter did when he quit and sweared at him and uh, was hit, you know, pretty much when he quit. So the, And he talks about how he's not even a able to show his face himself and, um, you know, uh, he tells her to leave. Um, he says he sends his woman down there. I thought it was awesome stuff. Um, this was good tension. It's going to probably happen eventually where they do buy the car wash. Walter will probably show up and have a face off with this guy. Um... And I think that's going to be pretty awesome stuff when it happens. So then Mikey is at the ball. Um, and um, they were playing Saul's commercial. The um, Saul, so Better Call Saul commercials, which I uh, do like those commercials. Even though the acting's not the best. But uh, 
I just like Saul himself. He's great at his role. Um, and Walter shows up, and uh, he uh, offers to buy Mike a drink to, so he can pretty much explain himself. Walter says the reason that uh, he did what he did was to be loyal to his partner, and the reason he had to do what he did with Gail was to save his own life. He was out of self-defense. And he talks about how him and Mikey should be worried about um, his job as well. Because um, Gus, I don't think, killed um, Victor to send a message. He, he did it because uh, he could. And he says that the same thing could happen to him. So he, and uh, he's like, why do you want, for, what do you, I mean, he's like, what do you want? You already won, you have the job. Then Walter says, yeah, I have the job, but for how long? Um, it's only going to be a matter of a time before Gus kills me. Um, and he wants him to work, Walter pretty much wants him to work with him because it could, Mike, because Gus could kill Mike as well. And, uh, Walter wants him to get him in a room with him alone so he can murder him. And, uh, Mikey does know about the gun that Walter has too, so I, I like that they tied that to the conversation. It was just a great conversation. So Mikey asks, are you done? Walter's like, yeah, I'm pretty much done. So then Mikey takes a cheap shot at him. And then beats the crap out of Walter, then leaves. To be honest with you, I thought this was an awesome scene. Uh, it was really good stuff. And uh, I'm assuming that means Mikey's not going to help him. So uh, eventually I think Walter's going to end up killing Gus. I don't really know how long they can drag out this story throughout the season. I actually think they can drag it out. Um, even though it's already happened. And like I said, this I, I don't know anything that happens further in the show. Because it's like I'm watching it live. So it's pretty much like I'm watching it live. I think they're probably going to carry it out. I don't know if Breaking Bad had a mid-season finale. I'm just guessing. They're probably going to carry it out um, until the mid-season finale. Um, and then uh, they'll start like a new um, thing with that. The only thing is, is uh, I'm just wondering if Walter, obviously he's not, he's not obviously not going to have a job. I don't know. Um, we'll, see what, I'll, I'll, we'll see about all that. But then Jesse ends the house party. And Bad Joe and Skinny Pete leave. At first, you didn't want them to leave, but they leave. And then Jesse starts blaring his music, and he sits down with like this depressed look face in front of the speaker. And that's how the episode ended. So it's showing that Jesse is still not right in the head after uh, what happened with Gail and the Gus situation. That's probably why he had this house party. Apparently, they said it's been going on for like three days or something like that. I think they wanted to have this house party because he wanted to get his mind off of it. And so that way you couldn't think about it and he wouldn't be like suicidal. But now that the house party is over, he's, he has it on his mind again. And that was the end of the episode. Overall, I thought this was a fucking awesome episode. Um, there wasn't anything I hated. I liked every scene that happened in this episode. I like what they're setting up in, in this episode. So overall, I thought it was a fucking awesome episode. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Breaking Bad review. If you want to leave your thoughts or comments on what, what you thought about this episode, feel free. Like I said, I don't know anything that happens beyond this episode. So um, please don't reveal any spoilers to me. Um, and uh, you can also click right here to subscribe and check out other videos for me on this channel. And you can also go on the Breaking Bad um, playlist on this channel and check out all of my Breaking Bad reviews from episode 1 all the way to now. And uh, I will be back this week for more future content on this channel. So I'll pretty much see you later, guys.